Hey guys, Christian Babcock here, and today we're gonna do a little bit different video for you guys. I'm gonna take you through a trophy room tour in my office where we make all the content that you guys see on YouTube, the podcast, all that stuff. So let's go. So the first thing that you're gonna see anytime you come into my house is this little pig right here. This is Mr. Winston. He's a cream French Bulldog. He's fixing to turn three years old and he's the official mascot of Hunter's Advantage. So he likes to ride. This is his favorite spot. He likes to ride up here because I think it makes him feel big. All right, so let's go into my office. This is where I do all my work throughout the day. So I originally bartered with Lauren that she was gonna let me have like three deer mounts in my office and I've worked my way up to five. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get any more than that, but this is what I got. This is where all the magic happens. So if you ever see me recording TikTok videos, it's usually with this natural light right here. And the podcast, we I record and edit right here on this, just a sheet of plywood. But this is this is my desk. I like to have a big desk and lay all my stuff out. And then I obviously have the best backdrop which is all of my bucks right here. So let's go through each individual buck and I'll tell you a little bit about each one of them. So this buck right here is probably my favorite one out of all the ones that I have on the wall. It's my 2020 public land buck that I killed in Oklahoma and my first public land buck at that. What I really like about this deer is the story behind him. I was having pretty much the worst season of my life. I had shot a couple bucks and recovered neither of them and we went to our annual public land hunt up in Oklahoma and I just had pretty low spirits the entire time and my buddy Jake had just shot a 162 inch deer on public and I was just hoping to do the same so I got out in the stand at about four o'clock and it it was so hot that day it was November 3rd and got up in the stand and to my surprise about five minutes into the hunt here comes this buck and I just see this beast of an eight coming down the trail and what's really unique about this deer is he has this one eye guard on this one side that looks like the handle of a baseball bat and it's eight inches long and it has like a one and a half inch kicker coming off the back so he's a really cool buck shot him at 41 yards and he went probably 50 before expiring my first public land buck and probably the most unique deer that I've shot well, I guess that's not fair to say. You'll see my most unique deer here in a second, but this is by far my favorite buck that I've ever shot. And I love the story because within 24 hours, Jake and I were both able to shoot bucks on Oklahoma public land. And it was just an awesome memory. All right, moving on. So this is my 2019 buck from Southwest Oklahoma. In 2019, Lauren and I had just got married and I had pretty much nowhere to hunt. Throughout the previous couple of years, I had lost pretty much every piece of permission property and it was gonna just be public land for me from there on out, but my buddy Jake was very generous to invite me out to hunt with them and actually shot a couple of does in the early part of October and messed up an opportunity at a really nice eight point, but Jake invited me back in the middle part of November and I went out on one of their lease properties and what sucks about this hunt and how it started was I was walking across a creek and it's usually like a wet weather creek and I don't know if it had been raining a lot or what but I filled both of my boots up that morning and I got in the stand and it was freaking cold. I mean it was probably in the 30s, 40s that day and my feet were just freezing. I could hear the water sloshing around in my boots but within five minutes of the hunt I look out and there's several does on this big winter wheat field that I'm hunting and several and a buck comes in i remember it very distinctly about a 130 inch buck comes into this feeder that's in this wheat field and i wanted to shoot him so badly this would have been the biggest buck that i'd ever shot but i knew he was a three and a half year old buck and if you know anything about my buddy jake is they have a very strict management plan they try to try to shoot deer that are five and a half years uh, old and older and that buck wasn't going to fit the bill I sent Jake a picture and asked him what he thought just in case, but he was like, yeah, it's a three and a half year old buck. You know, it's a nice buck. Uh, but I waited a little bit longer and there were several trail cam picks that Jake had shown me and this buck was one of them. And he, I saw him running out in the field about 250 yards away 
And I knew, man, if that deer comes in, I'm, I'm definitely going to shoot him. He was mature. And he comes in, and I'm just sitting watching all these does around the feeder and just running through the field. This buck comes, I just see him out of the corner of my eye, about 20 yards come into the frame. And I didn't even have to, to think about it. I grabbed my bow. I wasn't filming at the time. I had my camera in my bag. I was just so fed up with this hunt already. Drew back, shot this buck, hammered him just a little high but a really good exit and he ran about 100 yards just spraying blood into this field and at about 100 yards he starts doing you know the stanky leg or whatever and just falls pretty much immediately. This is still my biggest buck that I've ever shot score wise. So fast forward to 2021 so last fall I have a 110 acre lease down in southwest Oklahoma that hadn't been hunted for several years, and I know it's a big buck area. I just didn't have the time or the resources to go in and put weed in and do all the things that we wanted to do. So I just hunted this property pretty much with the existing stands on it, just filled feeders and walked into the season. Jake and his buddies were really generous and they mowed me some paths to walk in on. But apart from that, we really didn't touch this property. And throughout the summer on this property, we had so many different bucks coming in. I mean, 10 to 15 different bucks, considering this whole property is just a bedding area. I knew there'd be some good bucks on there. And throughout the summer, got a bunch of, bunch of really good ones. And my first hunt on this place was October 15th. We had the lows dropping from the 70s down into the 50s. And I knew if I could get in there with a good north wind, I could probably get one of these bucks killed. And the early part of this hunt, I blew off probably 130 inch 10 off of this place and it was during that gray light in the middle of the morning when you can basically see nothing had a doe and a fawn come in after that and then this buck i called the turkey foot buck who had a really nice split triple split eye guard that looked like a turkey foot and he ended up staying in for probably i don't know an hour hour and a half before this buck showed up so around nine I'm sitting in the stand and I just take one glance to my left and this funky buck is coming in. He's like 18 yards away and he works out to about 25 yards and I range him, make, make sure I get the camera on him. And I just see he has points going everywhere. I didn't know if he was an eight point at the time or he was a freaking 15 point. I had no idea, but he was just an old mature deer and I knew I was going to shoot him. So shot him. He didn't go 20 yards before we found him, but the hard thing about this recovery was he was in grass, was probably seven or eight foot tall, and it was really hard to recover and find a blood trail in there, but the deer only went 20 yards, but it probably took us freaking half an hour to end up finding him. But yeah, he's a really unique buck. Eight points, he's got stickers, kickers, he's got a handlebar right here on one side and just, I had the taxidermist pull the jaw and age him and he was a seven and a half year old buck. So this is the oldest buck I've ever shot by far. So this eight point behind me is my second ever public land buck. He's an Oklahoma buck and he's from 2021, this last fall, just got him back from the taxidermist. I actually got both of these back yesterday and I was waiting to make this video until I had them both back. But 2021 season, I'd shot this buck on October 15th and we go down for our annual public land hunting trip in Oklahoma. And this buck, second day while we're hunting, I see him up on the ridge. I had just shot a hog and I thought, hey, my hunt's pretty much over. I see this buck come out probably 10, 15 minutes later while I'm doing an interview about this hog I just shot. And he's up on the ridge, 75 yards above me. I am never, I never got a shot at him. I grunted at him. I tried to rattle and he was just uninterested at any of the calling and rattling that I was doing. So I'm sitting in the fast forward, I'm sitting in the stand and it's 950 something. I'm sitting there with my knees in the tree and my saddle and I've got a Red Bull in between my boots and I'm just sitting there sipping it. It's my second energy drink of the day and I'm sipping it in the stand and I'm just, Hey, I'm going to finish and enjoy this Red Bull before I get out of the stand. Well, at 9.50 something, here he comes, right up the trail here, one stick break. I look to my left, and this deer is coming in hot. He's probably already at 25 yards. Well, he comes in, works by me, 
and I have to thread my bow up under my tether and my saddle with my knees into the tree. My camera is sitting probably three foot above me. I just move it to kind of where I think he's going to be. I lean out with my tether across my chest on the, in the saddle, 27 yards. I had my pin on 20. I shoot a single pin HHA sight. And I, my pin wants to settle low on him. And I know my sight's at 20. He's at 27. I just try to keep inching, inching that bow up. And I'm at the same time, I'm pulling through my shot. So the shot just breaks low. And he ducks a little bit, hit him low, but my angle, he was quartering hard away. And I end up nicking a little bit of the heart, but I mainly got liver on the way out. And it pretty much came out on the opposite side, right in that armpit. And this deer, we proceeded to have to track him for a, a long ways. We found him, jumped him once, shot him again, and end up shooting him a third time just out of mercy because I wanted to put him down. But this buck was a freaking warrior and probably one of the toughest deer that I've ever hunted as far as just the will to live. He was an, he was an awesome buck and I, I really enjoyed that hunt. We're gonna produce both of these hunts on the YouTube channel. We're gonna put them out soon. So these are both from the fall of 21 and you'll see those out on the Hunter's Advantage YouTube channel soon. So if you haven't seen these videos, it's because they're not out there yet. So the last buck in my office trophy room tour is this eight point. He's from 2020, shot him on November 6th. The last two years, 2020 and 2021, I've been tagged out by November 6th. Last year I tagged out on November 1st, and 2020 was, this buck was November 6th. So he's a really cool buck. He's super heavy, and he doesn't have great time length. He's kind of average everywhere except for his mass. So I was hunting November 6th in Northwest Oklahoma at Bloomer Outfitters. And this buck came by 25 yards and I just, I knew I was gonna be happy to put my tag on him. I'd had, like I said, I just shot that buck from earlier on public land. And I was, it had, even though it was November 6th, it had already been a really long season. I had spent so many days in the woods so far and spent, put so many miles on the truck. I was honestly kind of ready to be done. So when you pay for an outfitted hunt to, you feel some sort of pressure to use your tag on one of those deer but regardless i was really happy with this buck he's heavy um, he's just a really nice solid eight pointer and seems like they put on more mass up in the northwest portion of the state so he's probably got the best mass out of any buck i've shot but shot this one with my bow too all of these deer in this office are with a bow and he was my last buck of 2020 he's just a really nice solid eight and I was happy to have him on the wall as well. Hope you guys enjoyed my office tour. I got my five best bucks in here. Every single one of them is with a bow and they're all from 2019 and up. I've got several other mounts that I have at my grandparents' house. I think I got three or four more there, but these are my best five bucks and they're just a representation of my growth as a bow hunter and my passion for chasing whitetail and filming the hunts too. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe hit the thumbs up and make sure you ring the bell notification so you're notified when we post more videos like this. Like I said earlier, these two bucks, the hunts are coming out very soon on the Hunters Advantage YouTube channel before season for sure. So if you liked the video, just make sure to sub to the channel. We'll catch you guys in the next one.